Some of my favourite birds are out there, which is great crested grebes. I just think they're so beautiful. Her eyes are expertly trained on any movement. Maya Rose Craig is the youngest person to see half the world's bird species. A staggering 5,410, and she's counting every single one. Now documenting many of those encounters and her own fledgling years in her new book, Bird Girl. Bird watching is such a difficult hobby to explain to people. <laughs> I just have this like very deep rooted love of birds and nature. Like I think birds are so beautiful. And sort of on top of that, it's sort of the almost adrenaline rush of like, will you see it? Won't you see it? The moment where you finally do see it is just like, yes. And it feels just amazing. At age 20, she's a veteran twitcher, as they call it here, with nearly two decades of experience. And we meet her on home turf. One of my favorite spots is actually just around the corner where we've been getting a raven nest for years now. Born to avid birders, parents Chris and Helena started her young. Some 40 countries, all seven continents, seeking the thrill of it, the escape, and that moment she first experienced at eight years old. I just remember spotting the hummingbird feeders out in the garden and spotting all of the hummingbirds sort of darting around. And it was just this moment that I was like, I love birds, I love nature, <laughs> like they were just amazing. But Maya was always aware that she had access to places that others who looked like her didn't. At age 13, launching the organization Black to Nature. It was only once I'd already set up Black to Nature, I was already working with kids on the ground and I started doing more campaigning, that I realized the issue was um, much bigger and much more systemic than I'd realized before. Her public profile soared, but at home behind closed doors, the family was navigating her mother's severe bipolar disorder. There's a lot of stuff in the book that I'd never really talked about before, even with my parents, let alone with the world. Maya says throughout her teenage years, birding kept their family together. I think birds are sort of very representative of that love that me and my family have for each other and sort of the way that we've stuck with each other through all of it. By age 17, she was marching in her hometown with climate activist Greta Thunberg and later that year in the Arctic with Greenpeace staging an icy impromptu youth strike. I just felt like I was watching the Arctic melt around me basically and it was really upsetting and I ended up being feeling really angry, which is why um, I ended up doing a youth strike for climate out on the ice. But it's her mother's home country, Bangladesh, which grounds her activism. In terms of climate change, emphasizing the human loss and the people in countries like Bangladesh, where my family's from, who are really struggling. And through her social media platforms, while she certainly attracts avid bird watchers, she also embodies that Gen Z fighting spirit, which intersects climate activism with a global struggle for justice. She lights up when talking about birds, but for her, it's all connected. When I feel very strongly about things, whether that is race equality or climate change, I'm, I go out and I try and do something about that. So I think sort of campaigning and activism are always going to be in my future. I think I'm probably going to be talking about climate change for a very long time. You guys, she was just awesome. This was one of those really tough assignments we had to spend all day outside and spend it with a really impressive young woman. As far as what's next, you gotta believe that environmental activism and birds are defi definitely, excuse me, gonna be part of her career. Like we said, she's only 20. She has a year left at Cambridge, but this is gonna be a career to watch. As far as me, this afternoon, we've got some birds to watch. Oh, uh, Molly, you saw that. some fantastic birds oh, out there. Oh, that was beautiful. incredible. It's Thanks so much day. for bringing us. That mm -hmm. was really good. Bird girl. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.